Can we talk about Alec Baldwin? Uh, Another guy s- getting sure, a, a, sure, yeah. a fucking raw deal. Yeah. They want an apology. The guy apologizes. We said it. We, we well, no surprise anymore, I guess. No. But we've been saying this for years. You know, we knew he the apology wouldn't save his ass. No, it never does. They want... They demand an apology before they can fire your ass. Yeah. It's the weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. So he apologizes about a week ago or whatever, and then they fired him from his MSNBC show. Yeah. MSNBC has nothing going on. Someone like Alec Baldwin was going to bring in the people. Yeah, he probably would have at least gotten some people to sample it. And just because he said what? Faggot? I think he... Cock-sucking co- faggot. Cock-sucking faggot. Fathead. Fathead, he says. Cock sucking fathead. Why you fathead? Wait, cock sucking fathead. That's so he didn't he even says. say faggot. He says that he said fathead, but he did f- say faggot. Oh, he it said faggot. Like All right, yes, but he, 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 but he knows the culture, so he was trying to save his fucking ass. Yeah, you, you're allowed to say that stuff. Apparently not. But you're you are. Yeah, you lose your job, especially when he's being harassed on the street like he like he is. I know. What, Martin Bashir went on MSNBC itself, like right. the network itself, right. and advocated for Sarah Palin being shit on. Right. Yeah. And and Alec Baldwin just called a well, he's the right, yeah, a cocksucker. Yeah. But he's the right color. We all know that. Oh. If you're the right color, you get away with a little little more. That um more. I mean, why did they hire him in the first place then? It's, I mean, but the, but why? this shit is so dangerous and it's already having a major effect. Yeah. You know, you don't really you don't expect anything to happen on these shows because everyone's scared shitless of saying the wrong thing. That's the uh, yeah, that's the thing you don't want to do. Be caught saying the wrong thing. They'll throw you right out of your job. Unbelievable. It's ridiculous. When we all say shitty things, we all do fucked up things. Of course. But let's make believe we don't. Right. Oh, what I'm hearing, uh, let me let me see what I'm hearing here. It's because he was a cocksucker behind the scenes. That's he was a fucking asshole. And they were just trying to find a reason to a get rid of him? fucking prick. Well, is, well. Is that a good source? That's a pretty good source, I gotta admit. Mm. Who's, the, who's the source? Yeah. Could you write it down? No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't say it. But it's, uh, I don't think you know. Oh, this person works... Uh, Someone, let's just say, on the inside. Of MSNBC. Uh, Maybe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the inside. Well, mm-hmm. Aren't we fucking cocksuckers? Well, we, we have hard different... To, hard to work with? Yeah, we have a different job, yeah. though. Description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, well, I wonder why they hired him, then. If, if, you know, if it was that bad to start with, they should have just... Uh, well, we've all heard over the years, of, you know, that he has a reputation. Treated his staff like so, shit. Yes. Screamed at everyone. Wow. So there's no surprise that the guy might be a dick if you hire him. Yeah. He just looks like he'd be a prick to work with. Oh, wait. Before. Does this person maybe 30 Rock days? Um, you don't want to say. Late to tapings. Oh, late to tapings. There's a quote that is in this article. Uh huh. Right. That says, uh, according to the Post, Baldwin alienated staffers when he demanded a separate makeup room being used by a woman with cancer who is sensitive to hairspray. Oh boy. When he, when told he could not have that room, he allegedly shouted, "Quote." I don't give a fuck if she has cancer or not. I want that fucking makeup room. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Well, that would make him a prick. That uh, That's a good one. But he I didn't... can't argue that, but, I mean, you can't fire the guy because he said some shitty things on the street. And he didn't call the woman a faggot, so. That's right. true. With that said, Joan fucking Rivers. Joan Rivers, yes. God bless this lady. I don't like her because she's never done our fucking radio show, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, you know, fair is fair, man. She said some great shit about this whole thing. TMZ picked it up, and we yeah. got the clip. What do I think about Alec getting ball? Let me tell you, everybody just relax. Everybody's either a womp, a nigger, a kike, a chink, a, a, a fairy, a, a, a myth. Uh, everybody's something, so why don't we all just calm down? We should be thankful for you. Be thankful that we're all living in America and stop everybody yes. getting so damn uptight. Absolutely. And this goes for the Indians, both dot and feather. <laughs> wow. Thank Joan, you. always a pleasure. Thank Take you. care. Right? Bye-bye. 
God, Look at God John. bless Joan Rivers. Just blurting it out What's up, there. What's Jimmy? Hi, buddy. Jimmy's back. Yes. God late. bless Joan Rivers. Will she get in trouble for that? Uh, no, she's Joan Rivers. She's beyond yeah, trouble, she's, I think. She's untouchable. Good. She's one of the untouchables. Right. There's not there many are, untouchables there out there. There are a few out there, but, uh, you know... Um, uh, who else? Uh, Don Rickles is an untouchable. Mm. Ew! What's the matter? Chewed up <laughs> pen cap? Yeah, why wouldn't? In front of you, they're grown up. Who chews up the pen caps? You fucking freaks! Yeah, I think she's untouchable, John. Or she's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know she's gonna say something horrible. Yeah. Well, she was sticking up for uh, for Alec Baldwin. She said the N word. Did you hear? Did you hear? The I clip? heard part of the clip through. Oh, the... let me play it again for okay. you. Yeah. They asked her about Alec Baldwin, who, of course, got fired. We all yeah, knew MSNBC he would. Yeah, stinks. They were waiting for the apology. You got to get the apology, then you fire the guy. Uh, Joan Rivers said this. What do I think about Alec getting bald? Let me tell you, everybody just relax. Everybody is either a womp, a nigger, a kike, a chink, a, a, a fairy, a, a, a myth. Uh, everybody's something, so why don't we all just calm down? We should be thankful for you. Be thankful that we're all living in America and stop everybody yes. getting so damn uptight. Absolutely. And this goes for the Indians, both dot and feather. <laughs> Thank you. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. Thank Take you. care. All right? Bye bye. That's good. Bravo. Good, good for her. her. Yes. Indeed, he do. Good for her. Because she's fierce. That's why they don't fuck with her. Because if they yeah. asked her for an apology, she'd attack them. Right. Oh, sh go yeah. fuck yourself. For uh, what? Apologize for what? <laughs> apologize. I'm not apologizing, you fucking asshole. <laughs> 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 so we should take a break then. Um, where's our grub? Yeah. The grub might is be a little late grub today. grub coming? It's pouring out there. It, it wasn't is. as bad as I thought, though. Coming in, I, I was. I switched. Yeah, how the fuck did you fly in oh. today? I switched. I was supposed to come back today. But we we wrapped early last night, like six. So right. I, I fucking I just panicked and switched. I'm like, I want to make it back, and I'm not like missing the show. But I don't have to. It's like, oh, aw. you should just relax out there in L. A. No, and enjoy never. yourself. Have no. some sushi. No, you, you... I did the other night. I All right, oh, you and you didn't relax. relax. You might not have been able to get out. Yeah, with the storm talk, I was like, let me get oh. back, and I took the late one. I said, uh, smart. Was it bimpy coming in? Very. We were little, 40 minutes late. That flight's never late. A little bumpy? It was. Yeah, it was quite Aww. quite rocky. Scary bumpy? No, I, I found this. I like it bumpy when I'm on a 767. I root for turbulence. Oh, that's I cute. like. I, it's almost like rocking me to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I doze off in, in violent turbulence on a 767. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, nice. Good for you. On a big plane, though. On a little plane, I'm panicking yeah, everybody yeah. else. Oh, that's great. I miss bumps when yeah. I ride my car. I miss bumps. Yeah, the bumps? Yeah, when I first started driving the SUVs back in the day, they, they gave you a nice little bumpy ride. Very smooth, man. Too smooth, oh, man. I, I don't like that. Oh, where where you get that weird shit in your stomach. Oh. I, got oh. a, I got a rental car now that's not quite as luxurious as the old Escalade. Right. For a little while until they fix up my Escalade. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm like, it's a, it's a, it's a Durango. Uh, I'm not very happy with it. People are saying, check out Joan Rivers' documentary, A Piece of Work. We, oh, we've it. all seen it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. great documentary, too. Yes, I'm beating the shit out of it, though. Oh, good. I don't uh, I don't feather the throttle at all. It's either full on the floor or my foot's off it. Well, that's what those Bull. cars are made for. Bull. <laughs> Gotta beat the shit out of the car. Yes. <laughs> Where's Travis? I, I asked him to look up a song that's in the documentary, Burn. I want to play it today. Is he having gay sex somewhere oh, in the got building? It? He yeah, was planning it. on having gay sex today, he said. Ah, mm, okay. Why don't we do this? I got a cool song. Hopefully you guys will like it. It's from um, Dennis Leary's Burn documentary. It's how the uh, documentary starts. They only use a little piece of this song. Uh-huh. You haven't seen Burn yet? No. I saw it last night and saw it the night before. This Very fucking good. documentary Very is good. great. What's it about? I'm guessing Fireman. He loves Fireman. Detroit. The Detroit, Detroit Fire, Fire Department. Department. And the fucking <laughs> the uphill battle they have. Oh, to wow. With no resources to try to control the I'm, unbelievable amount of fires. You think it's an up, You think they look at it as an uphill battle, or do they look at it as like, wow, we get to be cowboys every fucking day? There were people that were there was the firemen they were interviewing that said they love their job and they they love the fact that they get to put out a lot of fires in right. Detroit. If you're a fireman I, and you like putting out fires, I would gather that that's a good job. But when, it's got to be frustrating to not have the tools to do. Why it. didn't they? I'm wanting some more stats, like how many fires a day in Detroit? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Because they were going on multiple calls every single day. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder how many how many fires, if they got a number on that. I don't know. I bet it's a lot. But anyway, uh, this documentary, well shot. Yeah. Great stories and great music. Yeah.
And uh, the, it started off with this song by, who was it again? The Iggy Stooges. It was the, oh, it was the Stooges. Iggy and the Stooges, right. And the name of the song is... Give me shelter. Keep saying give me shelter. Stop saying give me shelter. Give me danger. <laughs> give me okay. danger. So let's give check this out and we'll be back. sucked to hear the opie and anthony show five days a week live on satellite radio online on your phone or tablet or even on demand go to SiriusXM.com. also interact with the opie and anthony show on twitter at opie radio at anthony clumia and at jim norton